Hello, this is Jonathan Landeros with Kativ Technologies. In our last video, we saw how we could create a sheet metal punch, this emboss I'm indicating right here, and place that on our part. In this video, we're going to continue that and place this information on a drawing. So we've got our folded part right here, and we've also got a flat pattern, and we're going to document that as well. So we'll switch to our drawing, and we'll create some views of our part. I'm going to show tangent edges so we can see the edges of the emboss. Choose my views, and we'll place those on our drawing. Next, I'm going to right click and repeat my base view, and take that same part but recover the flat pattern with the punch center. Place that on my drawing, and now I'll go ahead and add some dimensions so we can see how that punch is located. Just a couple of dimensions, and we can see the location of our punch, that emboss we created in the last video. I can also go through and recover the punch center information that I placed when I created this eye feature. And I can just select that punch center, drag it out, and drop it. Now I can right click and edit this, remove any information I don't want, I just want the identifier that indicates which punch this is, the standard I've defined, and there we go. You can also add this to your default, so it will always do this. But now let's go ahead and do one more thing. I want to show more than just the punch center. So I'm going to go back to my part and change my styles and standards. So I'll go into my styles and standard editor, find my part, and I'm going to show the sketch representation as well. So I'll select that option, punch center and sketch representation. I'll save that option, go ahead and complete this, and when I switch back to my drawing, we can see the circles I created in my last video also show, giving me an accurate representation of my punch. That's it for this video. Now we've completed the circle. Thank you for watching, everybody.